the price of Bitcoin. It's an interesting subject. You know, a lot of people like to speculate what's happening with Bitcoin. Is the price going up? Is it going sideways? Is it going down? When is it going to go up? How high is it going to go up? So roughly two months back or so, I said in this video that I was going to make a Bitcoin price guess, not a prediction. The difference is when you're making predictions, it's it's usually going to be based on actual data, whereas my guess was based on listening to what a lot of people were saying and looking at the charts, but not actually doing a lot of charting and just going with my gut. So back then I said, I think Bitcoin is going to be around fifty to fifty-six thousand dollars in April 2024 before the halving. Didn't quite get there, but back on April 19th, the price of Bitcoin did dip to about fifty-nine thousand five hundred. So that's thirty-five hundred dollars away from that range of fifty thousand to fifty-six thousand that I threw out in a guess. But you also got to keep in mind. Like how many people, how many so-called experts, people that have been in crypto for years, people that have been in trade fi, people that go on and on and on about, you know, their their technical analysis skills. And, you know, some of these people were claiming, you know, 70,000, 75,000, 85,000, 100,000, 120,000, 150,000 in April of 2024. Some of these people were even saying, you know, before the halving. So for me to say fifty to fifty six thousand dollars and to be off by thirty five hundred, I was still wrong, to be clear. But <laughs> it it still really puts a smile on my face and makes me laugh because as I said, I was pulling a number out of my butt. It was a guess. And yet I wasn't that far off. Now, in that video, I also said that, you know, April 2024, after the halving, I think that the price of Bitcoin is going to be something like 58 to 63,000. And it's looking like I'm going to be wrong there too, unless the price dips before the end of April. I also said something like, I think that the summer of 2024 is going to close with Bitcoin being at least $60,000. And I think that that's, well, it's not a guarantee, but I think it's kind of in the bag, so to speak. And when I say summer, bear in mind, I live in the Northern Hemisphere, the Northwestern Hemisphere. I'm in the United States of America. So the end of summer is, I don't recall the exact day, but it's its like, early, I think it's early September sometime. Summer comes to an end officially, I believe. So, you know, the end of August, end of September, Bitcoin should be, you know, well north of $60,000. It's north of $60,000 now for that matter. And in that video, I also said that I think Bitcoin is going to close 2024 around $80,000 roughly, give or take a little. So, you know, maybe between $75,000 and $85,000. I'm a little more bullish now. Like I, I think Bitcoin could certainly hit 100K or more by the end of 2024. But still, you know, man, to call fifty to $56,000 and have it end up being 59.5, where you've got these people talking madness, just pure madness. I'll give you an example right here. So Altcoin Daily put out a video today where apparently, according to three expert predictions, Bitcoin is ready to explode to $150,000. Of course, when you look at the description, they're talking about by end of year. So not quite so crazy. So this is probably not the best example. And I don't have a bunch of examples lined up. But if you are into crypto, if you've been following different people on social media, you know, various news sources, etc. I'm sure you've heard it yourself where somebody is like, Oh, yeah, Bitcoin, it's gonna be $90,000 in April. And you know, it just crazy talk. Either A, they're nuts and don't know what they're talking about, or B, they're trying to manipulate the market. You know, it's it's one or the other. Like you can't be, you know, some highly educated individual that spends their lives understanding markets and end up being that far off. I mean, I guess you can, like people make mistakes, but there's something fundamentally wrong there, right? Either they're really bad at their job or they're lying to you and trying to manipulate you. It's one or the other. They're, like what other possibility is there? And I just wanted to follow up you know, on the last two videos that I threw out where I was just talking about Bitcoin price predictions or rather Bitcoin price guesses. And man, I was off by $3,500.